In the last video lecture, we talked about entropy, and we discussed there that the definition for the change in entropy is ds, okay, change in entropy equals dq ref, where q refers to heat, reversible, divided by the temperature. So, yan yung ating definition for change in entropy. And so, to get the change in entropy, all you have to do is integrate this equation. So, to get delta S, which is S2 minus S1, integrate mo lang yung right-hand side ng equation. And by the way, yung delta S or change in entropy na tinutukoy dito is yung change in entropy for the system pa lang. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa kasama si surroundings. And later on, we need to take the sum of the entropy for both the system and the surrounding. So, if we do that, so delta S system plus delta S surrounding. Para masabi natin na spontaneous yung process, dapat greater than or equal to zero yung sum na to. So this is spontaneous process. So, gaya ng sinabi ko, pwede mong i-integrate yung equation na yan. Depende kung ano yung process na pinag-uusapan. So, for example, if it's a phase transition, ang ating entropy for that, or entropy for phase transition, if you're going to integrate this like that, ang lalabas is enthalpy of that process of transition divided by the temperature. So, ibig sabihin, yung enthalpy dyan, pwedeng enthalpy of vaporization or enthalpy of fusion, etc. Another form of entropy is yung heating or cooling. So, for temperature change, whether heating or cooling, and you do that at constant pressure, all you have to do to get the change in entropy is integral ni Cp dt over t. If you do this at constant volume, integral naman ni Cv dt over t yung formula ni change in entropy. So now let's consider this problem wherein we have hexane and it boils at 68.7 degrees Celsius. And you're given the heat of vaporization at constant pressure, which is 29 kilojoules per mole. If liquid hexane is vaporized, what is the entropy change or delta S. So, ang nangyayari dito is vaporization, right? So, it's basically a phase transition entropy. So, kapag phase transition, ang gagamitin nating formula is this. And so, we need the enthalpy of transition or enthalpy of vaporization. Ang given dito is heat of vaporization, right? Uh, sorry for that typo error. Um... Heat of vaporization and enthalpy of vaporization, they mean the same thing kapag constant si pressure. So, Q equals delta H, basically. So, now we have that enthalpy and meron naman tayong temperature, which is the boiling point of the liquid hexane. So, paano natin kukunin yung entropy? So, it's fairly straightforward. So, the entropy of vaporization of the system, right? is yung delta H, which is 29,000 uh, joules per mole, divided by yung temperature natin. And the temperature is 68.7, but you have to use absolute temperature here. So, mag-add tayo ng 273 para Kelvin na yung ating unit. So therefore, yung ating entropy of vaporization is 84.8 
joules per kelvin mole now here's the thing for most liquids or i would say many liquids yung entropy nila ng vaporization so let me write it here the entropy of vaporization for most liquids ay fairly constant. So, nag-range siya sa 85 to 88 joules per kelvin mole. No? So, medyo constant siya. Okay? Ibig sabihin, 85 to 88, yung, yan yung value na gagamitin natin for the entropy of vaporization for most liquids. And there is a term for this observation, which is yung constant ngayong entropy. So, ang tawag natin dito is yung Truton's Rule. So, Truton's Law states that the entropy of vaporization for most liquids is around 85 to 88 joules per Kelvin mole. Constant yan. And merong konting exception. So, yung mga liquids with excessive hydrogen bonds like water, and ethanol for example hindi sila kasama sa rule na ito so next time that you are given a liquid and you know it's boiling point pwedeng pwede nyo nang i-estimate yung kanyang enthalpy of vaporization kasi alam nyo na yung value ng entropy of vaporization for that liquid basta walang hydrogen bond doon sa liquid na yun.